Hi and welcome back. Today I have another abstract flower painting for you. I do these paintings to fill my sketchbook in the month of July because it's World Watercolor Month and I thought I would challenge myself and really do one abstract painting each day. It um, doesn't have to be um, a long session, it's just that I do something expressive and creative each day. Here you see me just sketching out the flowers very loose and I have no reference photo to paint from but if you don't paint a lot of flowers I would recommend using a reference photo to get an idea where the flowers can sit and where the leaves can be and just um, to have an idea about the whole arrangement of the painting. It's not necessary that your painting looks um, realistic. It's just to get the idea where to put which element and then you can just let your pencil go and make some loose lines to just get the expression of the flower. I don't only use watercolors for my paintings, I love to experiment with many different mediums. And here I'm going in with the Neocolor 1 crayons. These are the ones I've already used in the previous video and they are waterproof. These are not the water soluble ones. And I just add some highlights or color spots to my flowers and these will resist the watercolors. And here I'm going with my petals. I create roses and I create some C-shaped elements with the crayons. The book I'm working in is a spiral bound paper pad from Arteza. It's their expert watercolor paper. It's one of my favorite papers for just practicing and playing and sketching. It's not so expensive and I love the quality of the rough pages. Um, I am not a big fan of the smooth sides, but when you just work with one or two layers and when you know you don't want to erase anything, then the smooth paper is good to go. I keep the video in real time so you have the chance to paint along. Of course I will not be able to publish a video for each day of the month, but I will have all the works I do posted on my Instagram and there is a link in my video description. I also bought some metallic ones of the Neocolor 1 crayons. But I have to say they are not so real me metallic. They are a little bit shimmery, but it's nothing um, that you must have, I would say. I um, bought these crayons a few years ago accidentally, just some of them. I wanted to have the Neo Color 2 and I didn't use them very often and a few weeks ago I got this idea to use them as a resist together with watercolors and immediately I ordered some more of these crayons and I really like the technique and they are really good quality. They are blendable and they don't smear and they are really good pigmented. I now go in with the watercolors and I'm starting with a light pink and I just work around the flower. I try to keep some highlights um, to make it not look flat and yes, it's just playing and exploring and having fun.
while the light pink is still wet I go in with a darker shade of this color to bring in more shadows I always blend in some of the colors to the background because it looks more realistic which is a little bit strange because it's an abstract painting but it looks more finished when you have something in the background I feel when it's only white paper then it looks a bit unfinished I would say and this is the reason why I always add a little bit of color to the background Here I'm already working with the almost finished palette that I made because of the color mixing book I purchased and I have recorded the swatches of the colors and I will share a video I don't know when, when but soon of course um, where I show you which colors are in the palette and which ones are uh, mentioned in the book that you need to have to mix other colors and of course I added some more these are there are 28 colors you must have I don't have all of them because I think there were about five yellows I don't have five yellows uh, but I have most of them and I added some of my favorite colors to the palette as well here I try to mix some green and this is something I find very difficult mixing a good green I almost never like the greens I get I also don't like green very much green is uh, not my favorite color and that's what I want to learn also from this color mixing book is how to mix some greens that I like Here I'm scribbling in with the Dorant Ink Tense Pencils. These are water soluble ink pencils. I love those. They are very intense. And I just um, dip the nib into water if my page is not wet enough. Because when you have the, the pencil in water, the pigments release immediately and give you a really intense color.
I want to increase the contrast and here I'm going in with a bit of dark violet. I added some blue shadows to my leaves and guess what I'm doing to finish up the painting? Yes, I'm adding some splatters. That's my video for today. I have no idea when I will be able to upload another one. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I maybe sometimes upload them just to EGTV. It depends just on the time I have editing. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye!